I spent 24 hours of my life playing the worst Minecraft game mode. But what is the worst game mode? Well, while I was researching, five game modes stood out from the rest. They were Mega Walls, UHC, Skyblock, Woolworths, and The Pit. I ended up deciding on The Pit because it's one of the most hated game modes on Hypixel. Of course, the opinion of the worst mode will vary from person to person. If you don't know what The Pit is, all you do is jump into a giant hole, fight other players, and get golden XP to be able to upgrade your character. And that's it. It's going to be very repetitive. This is about to be so much fun. Alright, starting off with hour 1, I sort of knew how to play the game since I was already level 58. And within the first couple of minutes, I had gotten a 12 kill streak, then died because I forgot to show my stats before I started this challenge. And I will be showing you guys my stats at the end of the video. After fighting players for a little bit, I competed in a team deathmatch. And I had no idea that there were events in the pit, so this was a surprise. But what didn't surprise me was that my team lost. But at least I got some golden XP. All I did for the next 30 minutes was fight people, play ring around the rosy with this guy and completed a contract. In hour two, I participated in a spiral event, which I was late to, but don't worry, I still managed to reach the highest floor, which is floor nine, because every time you would get a kill, you would move up a floor, but every time you died, you moved down a floor. This event gave me tons of XP and gold. Then after the event, I went back to finding players. After 10 more minutes, I unlocked the ability to get a third perk, which required me to be level 70, and I decided to spawn with a helmet because I thought that would be best. I managed to go on another kill streak, this time getting up to 23 kills, which isn't bad considering I'm in the starter gear, but I got thrown in the void again. The rest of the hour, I was just having the best time of my life. At the start of hour three, I participated in a king of ladder event where you get gold every second you're on top of the ladder, but I was only on there for 15 seconds because I was late to an event again. After the event, I went back to the classic pit gameplay for like five minutes, then participated in a major event called Blockhead. Blockhead is pretty much platoon in Minecraft. I didn't do well in this event. I got 20th place. After the event was done, I decided to do a contract where I had to kill four players after shooting an arrow at them, but I only had five minutes to do it. Don't worry, I managed to do it. Towards the end of the hour, I went on an 18 kill streak and loaded up a couple of times. Moving on to hour four, I did a rage pit event. A rage pit is where you can't go anywhere else besides the middle pit area, so it's just chaos. You just swing your sword and hope to get kills in this event. You'll be dying a lot, unless you have good armor. After the event, I got a decent amount of XP and gold, then I went back to playing the greatest game of all time. For the rest of the hour, I was participating in minor events. Then around 45 minutes in, I did another major event called Squads, where you capture as many flags as you can while defending the ones you captured. Me and my squad did quite amazing. We all got third place. So, good job squad. The rest of the hour consisted of me fighting other players and getting buffed with how much clicking I was doing. My fingers will be like a rock climber if I keep this up. Don't worry though, I click even more in hour 5 until I didn't. I went AFK for 11 minutes. Don't ask why, I forgot. God. Oh, hey, look, I'm back. Back to this endless suffer. I mean, happiness. Endless happiness. Oh, I'm AFK again? I was probably doing something super productive. After I got back, I went on a 16 kill streak, which gave me a little bit of dopamine. Then after that, I got accusated, which I consider a compliment. So thank you, person. Then that's it for the hour. Yeah, not much really happened this hour. We have arrived at hour six. And by this point, my fingers were starting to hurt because of how much clicking I was doing. Then I punched this poor guy off. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> that poor man. I'm so sorry. After that, I went and ate a bunch of cake for gold. I was feeling like stampy with how much cake I was eating. But shortly after the event, I decided I was actually good at PvP and went on a 17 kill streak in order to boost my ego. Then I got boosted into the main lobby. Then something crazy happened. I started getting a kill streak. It started off at just 10 kills. Then it went up to 20 kills, then to 30 kills, then 40 kills. And eventually, it got up to a 50 kill streak, which activated a perk called Overdrive, which in simple terms means I get a lot of gold and XP. At this point, I was surprised I got this high of a streak, and people started to target me, and I ended up dying at a 58 kill streak. And if you die with the Overdrive perk active, you get 4,000 XP on death, and I leveled up four times. So moving on to hour seven, I was feeling really bored because I have been playing the pit for seven hours. That would make any sane man go insane. I also love cake. I love eating cake that gives me gold. After eating cake, I participated in another Rage Pit event, in which I actually did pretty good. I got 6th place. Being a non like me, that is pretty impressive. After the event, I ran into a team, and if you didn't know, teaming is actually allowed in the pit, but they wouldn't stop going for me, and I 2v1'd them 6 times, then eventually got cleaned up by some tryhard. I managed to finish the hour by getting an 11 kill streak and leveling up. At this point, I was done for the day. My hands started to hurt from all the clicking I was doing, so 
I logged off. Oh man, it's a new day for the high pixel pit and I'm ready to swing my sword again. I wasn't ready to swing my sword though because I got tossed in the void. 10 minutes later, I participated in another blockhead event. I started off pretty good. I was in 9th place, then ended the event at 16th place, which is about average. After the event, I went on another major streak. Well, sorta. I got to a 39 kill streak, which is quite a lot if you ask me. A little while later, I participated in a double rewards event and got to level 110, which is 10 levels away from prestiging, I did a king of the ladder event again and got a lot of gold. I was feeling like Midas when I was sitting on top. I just had that golden touch. Later on, I was in the middle of a decent streak when I started getting targeted by three people. Don't worry though, I comboed them into oblivion. Then I got smacked into the void and went to bed. All right, well, moving on to hour nine. It's a new day again, and I started off doing my daily quest. I decided to do a contract which was kill a player while standing on obsidian. This proved to be harder than expected, but I eventually managed to do it. I saw that there was a cake event active. I head over there and ate a whole bunch of cake, and to my surprise, not many people were there, and I got quite a bit of gold. Not too long after the cake event, there was another event in that area. This time, it was a doubles rewards event, in which I finished it with a 19 kill streak. Then I went to mid to pick on some nons, and eventually I got to a 53 kill streak, then died to a hacker. I didn't pull it off an interesting clip. I'll let you watch it. Ooh, hey buddy. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Yo, what? Yeah, I'm kind of good at the game. A couple of minutes later, I participated in an event called Robbery. I don't really know how this game works, so here is the wiki. But this clip sums up my experience. No! It's a robbery gone wrong! And then I'm pretty sure I came in last place after that. Later on, I tried to bid on some tier 3 blue pants and proceeded to get into a bidding war, in which I lost because I'm not rich enough. At the beginning of hour 10, I participated in another spiral event and got to the 8th floor, which at the end of the event, I got a lot of gold and XP. A little while later, I got called out for anti-knockback. I can't believe he discovered my secrets. After a little bit, I finally had enough levels to prestige for the first time. And if you don't know how prestiging works in the pit, here's the wiki. But after you prestige, you get a currency known as Renown that you buy upgrades in the Renown shop. And I decided to get the Mysticism perk, meaning whenever I kill a player, they have a slight chance to drop a Mystic item. And the perk also unlocks the Mystic well, where I can enchant the Mystic items I get. And also, before I prestige, I bought a full E-chest worth of Diamond gear, which will help me level up a little bit quicker. Now, back to PvP. I spent the next 30 minutes leveling up, and at the end of the hour, I managed to get to level 40. And the next hour, I decided to play with my friend Sam, and we participated in a King of the Ladder event together. A little while later, there is another event, this time, it was a major one called Pizza. And I was just having an absolute blast. I get three tap for existing. After that event, me and Sam decided to be peaceful players and stand on top of a rock in the lava region. And we decided to name this Fort Rock. I know, it's a great name. Sam came up with it. Oh, I just realized his username means you suck. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. I just, I just realized oh. that too. That's not very good. Oh, that's really sad. The 12th hour consisted of the same thing. Just being a nice, peaceful man. Go get him. <laughs> Dude, look at everyone! This ball! Yes! Yes! Okay, I'll be right back. I'm somehow so good at actually keeping peace going here. Oh, never mind. Everyone is dying. Oh my! Oh, there! Oh my God! Murder is occurring. Oh! Oh, you're dead. Uh, hello, Sam. Uh -oh. oh, I'm dead. Uh, what happened? It's around for one second, and you were just gone. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Would you rather have good stats and depression, or not good stats and happiness? You get some cool stuff with high stats. I'm not gonna lie, you do. After all of that happened, I closed my eyes and time traveled 8 hours. Then, it was another day of playing the pit. This is exciting. I do what I always do and do my daily quests, which rewards gold every time you do them. All I have to do is complete a contract and kill 25 players. Pretty easy to complete, so I completed it. Then, nothing else really happened in the hour, just the average. We are moving on to hour 14, but this time, I participated participated in a new event I haven't played before called Beast and I was confused on what to do so I didn't get any kills as a beast. Later on I got my first mystic item. Well I just got the achievement from it because the player that dropped it it turned out I knocked him in the void meaning the item was just in the void so I actually didn't get the item. I was starting to get really bored so I logged off for the day. The next day is here and I also played one hour on this day and in that hour I leveled up a couple of times and did nothing new so I logged off. I logged back onto the pit to see that there is a new map. This map is called Castle. I started to explore the map, and I can confidently say that this map is pretty cool. After exploring for a while, I stumbled upon an NPC called the King, which gives you a special mission, and the rewards if you complete this quest are rather nice. Well, they would be nice if you do it, but I decided not to do it, because frankly, I could care less. Then I decided to try to go on a streak, and I managed to get to a 21 kill streak, but that soon ended. 
Not by someone killing me, but by my own curiosity. You see, I saw this random hole in the ground near a ship and decided to go in it. This was a mistake because I soon realized I couldn't get out. This in turn ended in my shriek. Let this be a life lesson to never go into random holes. Later in the hour, there was another major event. This time, it was a team deathmatch. My team got first place and I was ranked number 43rd, which is basically number one, right? Anyways, I started going on another insane streak. This time in just basic gear. I got a 37 kill streak by the end of the hour, which is just pure skill. Then, unfortunately, the kill streak ended off camera because I forgot to record. Don't worry, it was probably a glorious death. Hour 17 came along, and I participated in another spiral event. I got to floor 6. For the rest of the hour, I was just bored, just doing the same thing over and over again. In hour 18, I was a pizza delivery man, and I was decent at delivering pizzas because I got 13th place. I mean, at this point, Domino's should just hire me. I ran around the map for fun for the rest of the hour. I just really like running, I guess. In the next hour, I was AFK for most of it. This is some really exciting gameplay. I eventually went back to clicking my mouse. At the end of the hour, I managed to get to a 36 kill streak, in which I continued it in the next hour, where I managed to reach a 57 kill streak, which is one kill away from my previous longest streak. Shortly after, I did another rage pit event and got 16th place. Then after that, I just went back to the action of swinging my sword. Hour 21 can be summed up in three words. Fighting, fighting, fighting. In hour 22, I was struggling to do some parkour. Eventually, I managed to complete the parkour, and then when I reached the top, I went AFK for unknown reasons, probably to do something more fun than play the pit. I returned after 20 minutes, and found myself on top of a big city and platform in the middle of the map. Around the end of the hour, there was another team deathmatch event, where I placed fourth overall, which is the best I have ever done in this event. Hour 23 was non-existent. I mostly afk for this hour, because frankly, I would rather stare at my screen then play the pit at this point. It's hour 24, the final hour. I knew this would be my last hour, so I was going to go all out. I would try to go on my biggest streak yet. I was going to beat my record of 58 kills in a row. First thing I did was buy the best gear I possibly could. Then I went on the outskirts of the map to try and eliminate players with lesser gear. I was going to try and play this really safely. So for the next 20 minutes, I was just killing as many players as I could and eventually reaching a 50 kill streak, which activates the overdrive perk, meaning I was more of a target for bounty hunters. So I had to be careful. A couple of minutes later, I got 59 kills, beating my previous record of 58 kills. By this point, I was pretty satisfied, but just wanted to see how far I could go. I managed to get only 61 kills before I started being hunted because of my ridiculous bounty of 2,050 gold. And sadly, I eventually died. For the rest of the hour, I went back to fighting and participating in events. Then the hour came to an end and I was free. I finally completed the 24 hour challenge. With the challenge coming to an end, it is now time for me to show you my stats before and after. Feel free to pause the video if needed. But is the pit the worst game mode? For me, I find the pit to be really repetitive and boring. The community isn't the greatest, progress is quite slow, and it's hard to get into the pit because all the veteran players typically have better gear. If you're trying to get better at 1.8 PvP, however, the pit is quite helpful since you're constantly fighting other players. But overall, I think the pit is fine for what it is. I personally wouldn't consider it the worst, but it's not something I personally enjoy. But if you enjoyed the pit, I can understand why. I will also have the full 24 hours in the description, but it will be at super supersonic speeds since YouTube won't allow me to upload videos longer than 12 hours. Anyways, thanks for watching, have a good day, and subscribe!